Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session we are going to discuss about ISO 17025 standard. Before we move forward let me tell you about the key learning of this session. At the end of this session you will be able to understand what is ISO or IEC 17025 2017. What are testing calibration laboratories? Why ISO 17025 is important? What does ISO or IEC 17025 2017 look like? Why is ISO or IEC 17025 2017 accreditation a good idea for your organization? What are the steps to becoming ISO or IEC 17025 accredited? What about the application process? What ISO 17025 training and certification are available if you are an individual now move towards our first question that is what is iso or iec 17025 2017 the indusheri guide provides insight on to how iso 17025 the main standard for laboratories can help your company why it is important its basic layout and what are the implementation intents ISO or IEC 17025 is the international standard that sets out the general requirement for the competent impartially and consistently operation of laboratories it specifies the activities that must be included in laboratory operation to promote confidence in its ability to produce valid and consistently reliable testing calibration and sampling result The most significant change between the 1999 and 2005 release were a great emphasis on the responsibilities of a senior management excellent requirements for continual improvement of the management system itself and communicate with the customer it also aligned more closely with the 2000 version of ISO 9001 The 2005 version of the standard comprises five elements: normative references, teams and definition, management requirements and technical requirements. Management requirement are primarily related to the operation and effectiveness of the quality management system within the laboratory. Technical requirement include factor that determine the correctly and reliability of the test and calibration performed in the laboratory the 2017 version of iso or iec 17025 has modified this structure to be scope normative references terms and definitions general requirements structure requirement resource requirement process requirement and management system requirements general requirements and structure requirements are related to the organization of the laboratory itself resource requirement site those issues related to the pupil plant and other organization used to by the laboratories to produce its technically valid results process requirements are the hard of the version of the standard in describing the activities to ensure that results are based on accepted science and aim to add a technical validity management system Requirement are those steps taken by the organization to give its a quality management system tools to support the work of its pupil in the production of technical valid results. ISO or IEC 17025-2017 is the current revised standard. The standard was published with collaboration between the International Organization for Standardization. and the international electronic commission whereas certification according to iso 9001 or iso 14001 is recognizing that an effective management system is in place iso or iec 17025 include recognition of the technical competence of laboratories accreditation is formal delegation by the accreditation body after assessment and confirmation that a laboratory is effective in meeting the requirements of iso 17025 to perform test according to its accredited scope 
the standard and accreditation are used by independently own and operate laboratories as well as those that are part of large organization in respective of the industry and size which are involved in sampling or measurement activities this include regulated government and public sector as well as not regulated sector iso or iec 17025 together with iso 9001 is the basic for iso 15 189 which specifies particular requirement for competence and quality as well as accreditation of medical laboratories what are the testing and calibration laboratories testing laboratories determine the characteristic of an item of interest and for conformity assessment an example is testing a clear example the item of interest to see if the amount of pesticides its contain meets the legislated limit the conformity calibration laboratories on the other hand compare a measurement instrument of unknown accuracy to one of known accuracy for example calibration can be used to ensure that the scale at the airport the unknown will accurately weight your luggage by comparing the readings across against certificate mass pieces why iso 17025 is important laboratory sampling testing and conformity assessment are crucial enabling factor for technology and trades iso or iec 17025 assists in the harmonization of procedure and standard method facilitates cooperation between laboratories and other bodies and promote the acceptance of result between countries why is iso or iec 17025 2017 accreditation a good idea for your organization the benefit range from strategy to external business to internal improvement a few are highlighted here increasing customers confidence accreditation to iso or iec 17025 2017 demonstrate that our laboratory is applicable of providing consistently valid result that the individual performing the work are competent and that all accredited measurement result can be tracked back to the international system of unit or appropriate references this is the primary objective for your customer so that results are accepted between countries creating a proactive risk based business and quality culture non reactive define activities policies and quality objectives are the foundation for the strategy direction of the organization a current of risk based thinking drives cost effective operations and evidence based decision making the laboratories must plan action to address risk and drive improvement and ensure that major quality risk related to test and collaboration are known and controlled carried out the same way every time acquiring your laboratories calibrity your test and calibration method must be reviewed and audited to ensure that you are using the latest technology and documentation available assessment by a third party accreditation body verifies that test and collaboration are done correctly by trained laboratories professionals creating an environment of professionalism and pride a third party assessment in which auditors look over your shoulder and examine all the your work is tough but once it over the audit will feel a sense of accomplishment and pride third party accreditation provide a sense of pride for the entire organization what are the step to become iso or iec 17025 accredited accreditation being by having a copy of standard and knowledge of iso 17025 2017 contact an iso 17025 accreditation body and address their requirements plan your training as all personnel must get through some training especially employee who will be responsible for management and technical activities and those acting as internal auditor 
the next step is to define a uh, document the laboratory's activities for which you seek accreditation along with the quality objective of the laboratories this gives the context to determine to what extent risk should be controlled and process documented follow with doing a gap analysis between what you laboratories is doing and what the standard requires on to documentation a manual will not required is a good place to document your laboratory policy and objectives several procedures are needed and a number of record must be linked together kept and maintained what about the application process before you can apply for accreditation you must meet the accreditation body's requirements have all the mandatory process documented and have the records to show that the implementation is completed you must have an activity internal audit program as well as records of all management reviews and methods validation after a remote review of the documentation and activities the accreditation body will approve recommendation and schedule the accreditation audit the assessors generally like to see about 6 month worth of activities and record keeping objective evidence at the time of the audit before the recommending you for accreditation what iso 17025 training and certification are available if you are an individual there are a number of training option recommended for various personnel they are iso or iec 17025 2017 Familiarization training before the start of an ISO or IEC 17025 implementation project. The implementation teams should be completely familiar with all of the subject matter contained in the standard. The intent of the standard and each clause should be fully understood as well as what documentation is required. introduce the culture of a process approach to activities risk based thinking and evidence based decision making other laboratories employ should have a basic understanding of the standard to start with gradually adding more training and knowledge as time goes by additional process and management requirements training this should include action to address risk and opportunities activities non conforming work specification corrective action and cause analysis and control of data and information management computer system validation internal auditor training internal auditor must be trained in accordance with iso 19011 internal auditors must know not only the standard but also how to conduct an audit certification for an individual is possible by doing iso 17025 lead auditor training course certificated by the chartered quality institutes cqi international register of certificate auditor irca technical training this include method validation and evaluation of measurement uncertainty training as well as quality control training some type of formal training is necessary for personnel who are responsible for the quality of results being reported friends now we have come to the conclusion of this session i hope i was clear enough in making you understand about what is iso 17025 and what are the benefits as of same in case you have any questions or queries about today's session then please feel free to put in your questions in the comment section and we will be really happy answering them i wish you all the best from tnb academy till then it's me signing off take care goodbye